content in games has become more important than ever, especially when games are a premium $60, gamers expect to invest a lot of time in the games they purchase. So in this video, we'll be going over 10 PS4 games you'll spend over 100 hours on. Now obviously a lot of this is subjective, not every game on this list will be your cup of tea and you won't be able to stand it for 100 hours. However, there is something on this list for everyone, so with that being said, let's get right into this. Number 10, Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition. Diablo has always been more associated with PC, but Diablo 3 transitions pretty well over on consoles. The controls work and the content is obviously abundant. The main story can be completed in around 20 to 25 hours, but doing that barely scratches the surface of the game. If you want to get the best gear, play as each character, and not to mention the Ultimate Evil Edition also comes with the Reaper of Souls DLC, there's a lot of content in the game. Number 9, Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 is a game not everyone is going to spend 100 hours on. The game is very hard, so if you're a newbie, you'll die a lot, but even then, if you're reasonably adept at games, you'll finish by the 30 or 40 hour mark. However, there is quite a bit of replayability to Dark Souls, playing as the different classes, getting into the multiplayer elements, and finding every last secret, which there are a lot of in Dark Souls 3. Number 8, Overwatch. Obviously, when you talk about competitive multiplayer games, there's room for all of the investment in the world. Overwatch is one of the most recent multiplayer games, and one of the major strengths of the game is its accessibility. If you're a casual player, you can jump in and play and compete. However, for those that really want to master it, there's a lot of dynamics to the game with several heroes. And playing as each hero adds replayability to the game, and considering it's Blizzard, the game will probably see consistent updates that add more reason to continue playing. At the very least, Overwatch is a multiplayer game with a lot of longevity. Number 7, Destiny The Taken King. At this point, most people have at least given Destiny a chance. Some really like it, some not as much. But as far as pure content and time sync, you've gotta put the game on this list. The main story can be finished very quickly, but that really is just a little bit of the content in the game. You're gonna wanna get the best gear, do the raid, play some of the competitive multiplayer. The sheer amount of content in Destiny is absolutely staggering. And then there's all of the DLC content, and by the way, another piece of it is coming in just a few months. If you haven't tried out the game, I would highly recommend doing so. Especially because at this point, the game is so cheap. However, if you're gonna play Destiny, make sure you have a few friends to play with because that's where it's at its peak. Number 6, Grand Theft Auto 5. When you're looking for a game with a lot of content, one of the easiest recommendations I could give is Grand Theft Auto. No matter which game you talk about, they all have a significant amount of content that gets increased in every game. Grand Theft Auto 5 took the world and content to its absolute peak. The world in GTA 5 is huge. Rushing through the main story will take you 20 to 25 hours, and doing the side content and taking your time to explore the world will add to that. And then you've got the online mode. The online mode adds a ridiculous amount of content to the already packed single player, ending up taking up a lot of your time. Number 5, Final Fantasy XIV. If you're talking about just sheer amount of time spent in a game, MMOs are the place to be. While the majority of MMOs are a fixture to the PC gaming library, Final Fantasy XIV has carved itself a nice place in the PlayStation 4s. The controls translate pretty well, sure there are a few issues, but that's to be expected. What is important is all of the content is intact. And there is a lot of content, from beating the main questline, the extra content, the raids, the DLC, Heaven's Ward adds a lot. There is an insane amount of stuff to do in Final Fantasy XIV. Sure, it's not all great, just with all MMOs it does get a bit grindy at some points, but it appeals to an audience, and for that audience, you'll absolutely love FF14. Number 4, Dragon Age Inquisition. Dragon Age Inquisition was really the first big RPG on the next generation platforms, and being that, there's obvious imperfections to the game. However, the game still has an awesome fantasy world packed with content and replayability. The main story is extremely engaging, but so is a lot of the side content. Then you have the DLC, which at this point I recommend buying the Game of the Year edition so you'll get the extra content right off the bat. At this point, Dragon Age Inquisition isn't the best RPG on the market, but it's one that's still worth your time. Number 3, Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain Metal Gear Solid was never a series known for having lasting player engagement. Don't get me wrong, there were always great games, but they were great games you can complete in 10 to 14 hours, probably less. And then Metal Gear Solid 5 happened, taking the series to an open world setting and with that adding a lot of content. The 50 main story missions took you much longer than any previous Metal Gear game and then you've got the 150 plus side ops. Metal Gear Online isn't that great, but the single player will take up the bulk of your time. Number 2, Fallout 4. 
Fallout is a series that's been synonymous when talking about content-filled games. We spent hundreds of hours in Fallout 3 last generation and it was more of the same with Fallout 4. Just like Fallout 3, the main story is pretty short. If you rush through it, you'll be done pretty quickly. But if that's all you're playing Fallout 4, you're really missing out. Just exploring the massive world of Commonwealth will take you several hours. And then doing every mission, doing the DLC content, which by the way, there's more on the way. Fallout 4 is a huge game, and while it does have its issues, especially on consoles from a technical standpoint, there's a lot of quality to the game. Number 1, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt I consider The Witcher 3 the ultimate single player experience and that's for many reasons. When you think about why a game is good, usually you think about several categories, graphics, gameplay, story, audio, content, etc. Very few games get an A on every category, but The Witcher 3 is one of those select few. And when you're looking at it from a content standpoint, why it stands above every other game on this list is because of its quality content. The Witcher 3 does have a lot of content, but the strength in the game is that all of the content is quality. There's a reason it's there and it's engaging. I would go as far as to say that a lot of the side content is just as engaging as the main story, and the main story is pretty great. And then you have the Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine DLC, which adds even more content, which by the way is also quality. The Witcher 3 is a game you'll easily spend over 100 hours on, but probably well over that. You'll beat the game once, you'll do all of the side content, play through the DLC, and then play through it again at some point because it was so good. So that wraps up our countdown of 10 PlayStation 4 games you'll spend over 100 hours on. Let us know, do you agree with our list, disagree, thought a game should have appeared on the list but didn't? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.